I think he, being younger, he relate can relate much better than than Van Gundy, and I'm a fan of Van Gundy. You know, uh, yeah, he, he, look, first of all, he's a great interview. I mean, if you're if you're, if you're in our business, if you're in our business, you love Van Gundy. I mean, he just spits it, you know. And so I think you know that that his he, he was he was critical of players, and you know he he didn't have a roster. You know the young guys to be, you know that way towards. You know it's a different game, and I'm not critical of today's player in that sense. I mean, look, you know you feel how you feel, and if you got an issue with how a coach is talking about your team, and that's fine. You know, no worries there. I mean, you got to, you're entitled to feel the way you feel. The thing is, is that Willie Green has been around mega egos. You know, Draymond Green. You know, he saw that. You know, so you know. And, 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 and you know, and Kevin Durant and and and, and, and you know Steph and Clay. I mean, you gotta you gotta you gotta have confidence to play at that level. And even 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 here, I mean, Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I mean, those guys, you know, they 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 they're like, hey, I'm that guy too. You know, so they're not you know, they, but but to be able to you talking about holding accountable. Devin Booker was not the defender. All right. Let's just keep it honest. I mean, when it was time, it was it was blow by with him earlier in his career. And Willie Green was, and Monty Williams is a huge part of this, but Willie Green also challenged him. Hey, you want to be a complete player? You got to be a better defender. And Devin Booker is not a liability on the defensive end when he was one earlier. And I know Devin's talked about, you know, it's a five man, five man defense. And he is correct, but every man's got a job. And sometimes it, it didn't look like Devin was even thinking about it in terms of giving the max effort consistently. Now Devin Booker does chase down blocks. He didn't do that three years ago. You know, part of that is is being held accountable, and that's part of it. And I'll give you a quick story when I think it was Game Six against the Lakers. Now Willie Green and Chris Paul have a special relationship. They played together in New Orleans. They played together with the Clippers. So Willie Green might be one of the few people that can tell Chris Paul this, but they're 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 talking during the game, and Willie Green tells Chris Paul in the fourth quarter, "Hey, you got to do something. You know, you got to you got to put your imprint on this game." And Chris Paul was saying, "Hey, man, hey, I'm, I'm trying." And Willie Green like, "No, you have to do something to help us win this game." And Chris Paul had a stretch in that fourth quarter where he helped put the Suns over the top. Now you're talking about get the relationship. But this is during the heat of a game, a closeout game, and Willie Green says, "Hey, Chris Paul, we, I, I know you're an all, and his head thinking, no, oh, you're an all-time great. You're going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You've done so much in your career. But as of this exact moment, I need you to do something to help us win, because at this point, you haven't been doing that, or at the level we need you to do it at. That's huge. And for Chris Paul to respond." to that and then do what he does that that right there is Willie Green having a relationship with guys I've talked to players about him and they're like hey he has a sense of humor you know he jokes around with us but he's very intense you know he's serious about his job like he understands the dynamic and of, of being one way with the guys but then being another way that they feel comfortable with him I mean, this guy still practices with the guy. Like, I, I can remember last season him and Devin Booker playing one on one after yeah. practice. And it's like, you know, and I asked Coach about that. I said, Are you still doing that this year? He's like, Yeah, yeah, still, still do it every once in a while. You know, you know, where basically it's not like one on one. It's like, I mean, it's one on one, but it's more of, okay, Devin, you had the ball on offense. I'm on defense. It's that kind of deal. Let's work on your post up. Let's work on this, work on those situations. But this guy is still doing that. Now, I get it. He's 39, but you go out here and ask an average 39-year-old if he would be up to guarding Devin Booker <laughs> after practice. Just, 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 just go out just see, and see how, many, see how many no answers you get yeah. or see how many yes answers you get, and you would be like, come on, man, really? So this guy is still engaged. He's still got that competitive edge, and that's what he was as a player. You know, Willie Green was bulldog out there. You know, so he can relate to these guys on multiple levels that would earn respect. 
immediately. And so if he can, so, you know, I get he would be inheriting a young team, but just probably guys on that team that know who he is or know who we play with. So it isn't like he's coming in and like, who, who is this guy? So, you know, he's, he has a lot of things, intangible things that would benefit and help in terms of him making the transition. So, I mean, again, uh, Willie Green's a guy that I wouldn't put it past him to be able to do many things. He's, you know, from Detroit, then they, they came up, you know, through it and, and to be able to, to be where he's at right now in such a short time. Well, now you're talking about him possibly being an NBA head coach. That just speaks to who he is as a person, and and, and he would be ideal uh, there in New Orleans. But he w- it would also not be a problem if he, you know, didn't take a job or wasn't hired, and then you know kept building his building his skills uh, for 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 another position in the future. Because every year somebody's getting fired, so the job's open every year. So it ain't like it ain't like he got to take one now. But you know, you know, the opportunity is is, is is there in terms of talking to people and talking, doing interviews. He's been he's been in enough situations to to make the adjustment, um, and that the, the fact that he's you know he's he's been around a lot of people, uh, he's been at a certain level, he's made the come up, and that you know when you're around who he's been around, whether it's Ellen Iverson as a player, Chris Paul as a player. I mean, you know, and so the things that he's done over the course of just this short time frame for him to be right here speaks a lot to who he is. And, and you know, he, he, Monty Williams has a saying, everything is on the other side of hard. And Willie Green has seen that, you know, playing for him and coaching with him. So, you know, this, this guy is not immune to work. And he, if he, if he was to, if he was to take the job, he was, if he was to be offered the job first, and then he was to take it, he knows the work that would need to be required to get that going in New Orleans. It's not exactly like you know, Pelicans have have had success. Hornets slash Pelicans have had success, but not consistently. And so, you know, if, in order to make that happen, you know, he'd have to really figure some things out. And again, when you see a coach that like Van Gundy get fired after one year, that that actually the trepidation to, to even consider it. But you know, if he does, and he knows going in, okay, this is how it is, and um, he's experienced a lot, and, and he's a he's a he's a he's a darn good coach. You can just see it, the impact on the defensive end, and getting guys to understand how to play on that side of the ball, and and uh, you know, from Mikael Bridges and DeAndre Aiden and Jay Crowder, who, who we know is you know is a good defender, but to get that as far as a team concept for other guys. But like I say, I look at bench guys. When the bench guys are able to come in and, and keep that level of defensive intensity, and that's what the Suns have won on. I mean, the, the glitz of Booker hitting hitting shots, and Chris Paul going between his legs and fadeaways, and Aiden Duncan and Crowder and Mikael and Cam Johnson hitting threes and transition up and down. It all looks great. But they're in the NBA Finals because they defend, which means that Willie Green has had a huge say in what's happened.